But you know, if you talk all the time, you'll never hear what anybody else has to say. And therefore, all you'll have to talk about is your own conversation. The same is true for people who think all the time. That means, when I use the word think, talking to yourself, sub-vocal conversation, the constant uh, chit-chat of symbols and images and talk and words inside your skull. Now, if you do that all the time, you'll find that you've nothing to think about except thinking. And just as you have to stop talking to hear what others have to say, you have to stop thinking to find out what life is about. And the moment you stop thinking, you become into immediate contact with what Korzybski called, so delightfully, the unspeakable world. The most ordinary sights and sounds and smells. The texture of shadows on the floor in front of you. All these things without being named and saying, that's a shadow, that's red, that's brown, that's somebody's foot. When you don't name things any longer, you start seeing them. Because, say, when a person says, I see a leaf, immediately one thinks of a spearhead-shaped thing outlined in black and filled in with flat green. No leaf looks like that. No leaves. Leaves are not green. That's why Lao Tzu said, the five colors make a man blind. The five tones make a man deaf. Because if you can only see five colors, you're blind. And if you can only hear five tones in music, you're deaf. You see, if you, if you force sound into five tones, you force color into five colors, you're blind and deaf. The, the world of color is infinite, as is the world of sound. And it is only through stopping, fixing conceptions on the world of color and sound that you really begin to hear it and see it. But the thing is, that unless you do have that basic framework, of a certain kind of order and a certain kind of discipline, the force of liberation will blow the world to pieces. It's too strong a current for the wire. <laughs>